I believe uh, that President Obama has locked himself into an unenviable situation by designating a date to pull out the troops from, um, from Afghanistan, i.e. July 2011. This is a very risky situation. Why? Uh, because uh, the military option by itself will not do the job in Afghanistan. Now, as a matter of fact, the Taliban and Qaeda leadership finds in the surge quite an opportune moment to further mobilize more supporters and more constituents, not only in Afghanistan, but even more importantly, in countries such as Pakistan. So when you have some people uh, starving, uh, having uh, almost no future to speak of, what options would they have other than to join Al-Qaeda and Taliban? Therefore, I am led to strongly believe that parallel with the military option, and perhaps even more effective than the military option, is uh, other projects, a reconstruction, a serious reconstruction process in Afghanistan on the lines of what we did in Europe with the Marshall Plan, Marshall Plan after World War II. The way to win the hearts of uh, a very exhausted people, almost desperate people, is not by sending troops only to fight against other forces. One has to be, I think, creative enough and think of the nature of the demographics in Afghanistan and in Pakistan and cater the plan, the strategy that is the designed to meet such needs. I believe that the designation of the timetable to pull out from Afghanistan is a most risky uh, scenario for the Obama administration. It could very well be the issue that will decide the presidency of Obama if he decides to run for another term. Thus far it has been the economy, but I believe with the designation of a clear timetable, uh, Obama has been take, uh, is taking a very serious risk, which I was hoping that he will perhaps avoid to do.